hey guys your inner chakras welcome back to the channel guys if you are new you are welcome guys i'm gonna pull from this deck again but i'm going to change the tarot deck uh, i'm gonna change the deck to where is it let me find it i'm looking oh it's right here So we're going to change it because spirit, the past two readings, you've been getting some direct messages, right? Someone is getting some direct messages. Maybe all of you. It's coming up on the end of the year. Spirit is wrapping some things up. Spirit says, stop playing. Stop playing. Stop listening to tarot readings when I keep giving you guidance and you keep doing the same thing and you keep taking two steps forwards and five steps back. Spirit said no. Spirit said it's going down. It's going down. All right, guys. Holy Spirit. What messages do you have for the collective? What's going on, guys? We've all been there, right? Where you want to leave. You're not ready to leave. You want to leave. You, eh, you know. I know. This is the Dried Flower Fairy. And it says, Sweet Memories. Sweet Memories. Uh, Y'all keep saying, you see the, the light. I don't know. Okay, the light. All right, sweet memories. This is number 11. Let's read about number 11. <clears throat> this darling little fairy just loves to collect memories and to treasure them. Wearing them as garlands, their sweet, faded fragrance, reminding her of happy times. She helps you by collecting all your happy, sweet memories and keeping them from fading, too. She has wings that resemble the wonderful monarch butterfly, which is renowned for the vast distances it can travel. So these memories may be a very long ago, down through the ages, but they are still able to fly to you and reach you with their message of love and sweetness wherever you currently find yourself. When you experience a difficult and challenging time, the dry flower fairy flies to your side, shows you a moment that you have forgotten, and magically the present moment transforms. You will always have her with you, most especially in the times when those sweet moments seem furthest away. She will come to you and she will remain with you. Expect calls out of the blue, bumping into old friends, a photograph of a loved one, or a reminder of happiness coming to you in other sweet and serendipitous ways, right? Do you remember that time when you played with the fairies in the gardens? Do you remember when your imaginary friend was more real than your own parents? What about the first time you ever noticed your shadow quivering in the, in the light? Swam in the sparkling sea, held hands or exchanged glances with someone you liked more than just friends. When you were given a gift for no reason, hugged by a friend, had a perfect day, found messages from angels in the clouds. You seem to have forgotten all the precious moments, so I've been busy gathering them up for you. I now return them to you so your sadness can be transformed. Let happiness, bliss, and gifts for no reason become possibilities you believe in again. When I see you smile and treasure a moment from the past in the present, I know my work has been done. Guys, your divination message here is you may soon be experiencing little reminders of some of the sweetest, most fun and uplifting times in your life. The kind that have no great significance historically, but in the story that is your life, they are pivotal moments. It could be seeing a rainbow, a star shining bright, or a photograph of your father holding you closely in his arms, or receiving the knowledge and sudden realization that something you did made a large and meaningful difference to someone else's life. You have so many jewels, it's time to sift through the precious moments in memory, and by honoring these and filling them again, change the present for the better. The magic of your sweetest memories will be reworked into the present moment, and your current struggle will be momentarily relieved. And that transcendent feeling of being one with all that is will return, giving you the strength to go on and do what must be done. Who child. Hold on to the good memories, right? 
hold on to the sweet memories but it looks like you may be walking away from something but hold on to the good memories the good times that you had that way you're not sad or whatever or you could think of the good memories and it can help you hold on to what you still have right based on the memories of the past if that's what you want it can go either way holy spirit what is happening here for the collective don't be sticking You don't want to fight anymore. You don't want to argue anymore. You just want to agree to disagree with something or someone in your life. Like you're over fighting. You, you have no regrets. You have no regrets. You're carrying no regrets with you, right? And you are thinking of the past. There's your six of cups. You're thinking of all the good times, the past memories. And love. So I don't know if you're thinking about the past memories with the past person. To the point where you may want to offer them a new love offer. You may want to give them your cup. So somebody could be thinking about going back to the past or just rebuilding something that you currently have with someone, right? But that's a love offer that you may be giving to someone. You're coming out of a situation. Three swords. Someone broke your heart. Someone broke your heart. Yeah, deception here. Someone broke your heart. And you're tired of fighting with them because they did this. And they don't have any regrets. They don't regret what they did. But you keep thinking about the past times. The Six of Cups. The Ten of Pentacles. When you was living this good life. Great life with this person or whatever it was. The Ten of Pentacles. Uh, could be with family. But you're not giving them this love anymore. It's Ace of Cups in reverse. It's Ace of Cups in reverse. So you're thinking about the good times, but your heart is broken. They broke your heart by deceiving you. So Spirit said, hold on to the sweet memories, but you may be moving on. There's your page of wands. See, they broke your heart one time too many. And even though you tried, you offered this person love, but they didn't love you back. Ace of Cups in reverse. You probably thought this was your emotional fulfillment with this Nine of Cups here. You probably thought um, I don't know. You thought this was your wishes coming true, your dreams coming true, and they deceived you, right? But it's like you don't want to believe it or you're not ready to let go with this Ace of Swords in reverse. You're not ready. Four of Pentacles. You are holding your feelings back, though. I think you're just going to hold on to these sweet memories, but you may end up moving on. Holy Spirit. This is the magician. You have the magician card, so you're able to manifest the life that you want. You don't have to stay where you are. You can manifest yourself out of it because this is too many burdens. So you have the magician energy to transform your life, to move on because it's too many burdens. It's like you have a lot of back and forth. You love this person. They didn't love you. Yeah, spirit is giving you a new opportunity. Ace of Pentacles. To go forward to manifest what you want in abundance in all areas in your life, right? Yeah, they cheated. It's too many burdens. This is too many burdens for you. It's time for you to move on. I know you don't want to. Some people don't want to. But sometimes we have to. Spirit said, hold on to the sweet memories, all the good times. And, and that's great, but it's time for you to go. Holy Spirit. All right, this is somebody that's working. This is that's occupation. Maybe you work hard. Maybe you work a lot, right? Maybe that's what the occupation is. Maybe you're somebody who just works all the time. 
this is sad news. Sad news for someone. I don't know if this is you. We will find out, Holy Spirit. This is a gift. You may be receiving a gift of some kind. Maybe be, you may be receiving a rose. The good lady. So we have the good lady and then we have a lady that's sad. Holy Spirit, clarify the sad lady here. What's going on with the sad lady? She got caught stealing. She's a thief. Look at that. In somebody's pocket. So she's sad. She probably got caught out there. Lady, why were you stealing? What were, what were you doing? Holy Spirit. Spirit, clarify this thievery card. Taking money from this man. She was taking money from the rich man. Is this the same people that came out earlier two, two videos back? Holy Spirit. She could be sad about this good lady here. Holy Spirit. Clarify the good lady. The good lady probably works for herself and doing what she needs to do. The good lady, the good Lord is coming to you. Not the Lord himself, but you know, like the Lord. <laughs> like Scott Disick, the Lord. Um, so this rich man could be coming to you. Spirit, clarify this good Lord. They're going through some legal matters right now. And I just saw 1133. So this person is going through some legal matters. You may end up receiving a gift from this person. It's been a long journey. So you may be releasing something from your past and then something else may be coming in. Or it's this person that's releasing the past, like this rich man here, and then going to something else. Somebody needs to release their past so they can go forward. Basically. Basically. Holy Spirit. Let's break down that tipper over there, right? Holy Spirit. Clarify this occupation here. That came out before in the other one. Ten of Swords in Reverse. Someone could be afraid to leave a situation with the Ten of Swords in Reverse. Not ready to leave a situation. Maybe they felt that there was their that was their emotional fulfillment. I don't know. Someone's not ready to leave. Holy Spirit, clarify the sad woman. Why is she sad? Why is this woman sad? Knight of Cups. Because their person may be offering love to someone else. Yeah, they don't want this person to offer love to someone else with the chariot in reverse. They're not ready for it to be over. Or they could be trying to stop this person from going forward. Spirit, clarify this thief card here. Stealing from this rich man. Lord have mercy. Thief. They don't want this person to leave. The rich man is leaving. They don't want the rich man to leave. Then why did you steal from this person? See? They're healing now. This rich man is leaving this person. They don't want this person to leave. Then why would you steal from somebody? If that person is giving you a good life and you're happy, supposedly, or if you love them for them and not love them for their money, when you love people for their money, then you, you, you're taking from them. That's not love. You just want more and more and more and more and more. That was greed, right? Holy Spirit, clarify this rich man here. You shouldn't have stole from him. Who is this rich man? The rich man's not very hopeful. Not happy. He's probably like, look, we can't fix this. Knight of Swords in reverse. I think rich man feels like he jumped into a connection with this person too fast without thinking. And the person ended up being a thief. Stealing from them. Taking more than they should. Right? Yeah. They broke their heart. Broke the rich man's heart. So this rich man jumped into a connection here. Got their heart broken. And they just want to move on. That's what that is. Holy Spirit, clarify this gift. So it looks like they gave this person a gift. They gave the gift to the wrong person because... 
Spirit didn't approve it. <laughs> Spirit didn't approve it. You can't be dating um, thieves and stuff like that or people that's using you for your money. Because my thing is, if you're dating a rich man, isn't he giving you enough already? Right? I'm pretty sure. They've probably given you enough. But apparently it wasn't enough for this person. So they had to, I'm going to take a little bit more. Holy Spirit, who is this, this good lady here? An emperor. She's an emperor. She has her own stability. Like she's stable. They want to go to this good lady and tell this good lady some truth. Spirit, clarify the good Lord. They want to clear up some things with that. The good Lord wants things to work with this good lady. This is the King of Pentacles in reverse. They could be getting a divorce here, guys, with these legal matters here. I don't know if y'all can see it, but the card's going. With these legal matters here, they could be getting a divorce. Holy Spirit, clarify these legal matters. Yeah. Once they're done with those legal matters, they're going to make a love offer to you. The Page of Cups came out twice. So this rich man is actively ending something. He's holding on to the sweet memories, and that's fine. But they're moving on. They are moving on. Yeah, it's over. You're going to get this new love offer after their legal matters, after they get a divorce. They're holding themselves back. Something's coming to an end. Somebody doesn't want this person to leave, though. They don't want them to leave. Two of Wands in reverse. Eight of Cups in reverse. They may have a fear of change as well. But they're not up in their head. The, the rich man's not up in their head. The person that they're leaving is. But they're releasing this devil here. Ace of Cups is in reverse here. And Spirit has sounded the trumpet. This Empress here, who had a chance to be with that Emperor, they lost their crown. You lost your crown. And the rich man, too. This person's going to be left in hangman. Oh, well. Sweet Caroline. Bum, bum, bum. It wasn't enough. They had to end up stealing from this rich man. So they used them. Whatever. So the rich man is thinking about all the sweet little memories or whatever. But rich man is moving on, getting a divorce, and I don't know, leaving, leaving the building. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.